Hi, my name is Stephanie Pease from ThyssenKrupp Materials North America Copper and Brass Sales. Uh, we get this question a lot, so today I'm going to be talking to you about the difference between a pipe and a tube. The major difference between these two are basically the application that it's used for and the way it is measured. So a pipe is typically used to transfer liquid or a gas. It's constructed to withstand high pressure. Now pipes are always going to be round. A tube, on the other hand, is used for strength. It's used in structural applications such as framing. Um, a tube can be round, square, or rectangle. So a pipe, when it's measured, um, it's measured, the measurements are given in a nominal or the inner diameter. Uh, it's also, um, pipes are referred to, a, they have a schedule, which a schedule is a wall thickness. Typically we use a schedule 40 or a schedule 80. So one example I have here today of a pipe is this 0.75 inch nominal aluminum schedule 40 extruded pipe. This pipe has a nominal dimension of 0.75 and the inner, the thickness of it is the schedule 40, which if I look at a chart, it will tell me that for 0.75 and a schedule 40, the thickness is 0.113. It would, if it was a schedule 80, it would have a different thickness. Now a tube on the other hand, a tube is measured by the outer diameter and will have a wall thickness, it's typically measured in inches or fractions. So one example I have here today, now this is an extruded aluminum tube. It says on here that it's a one inch outer diameter by a 0.125 inch thick wall thickness. So for a hollow bar, a hollow bar is always round and it can look like a pipe or a tube. However, typically the walls will be much thicker. A hollow bar has the strength of a solid round bar, but since there is no center, there is less weight per foot, which can sometimes save you money. And for your application, if you don't need the center, a solid round bar just would have more waste and more money spent on machining. A hollow bar, depending on the application, can be machined both on the inside and the outside. For the measurements, hollow bars are measured by giving an inner diameter, an ID, and an outer diameter, or an OD. Now a hollow bar, like in this example here, uh, this one here is a .75 inner diameter with a one inch outer diameter. These are always gonna be, a hollow bar is always gonna be measured by giving the OD, the outer di um, diameter, by the ID, which is the inner diameter. Copper and Brass Sales offers pipe, tube, and hollow bar in aluminum, stainless steel, copper, brass, and bronze. For more information on any of these products, you can visit our website, which is www.copperandbrass.com, or for small order quantities, you can visit our website onlinemetals.com. Thank you.